Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a test with this power pot using tea lights, tea light candles, four of them. Couldn't get the power to come on through that. Couldn't get the little light to light up. So after that I got a comment from Eric's channel number one, or Eric's channel one, where he said, how about Sterno? So here we are. I do these things so you don't have to. I'm going to use <clears throat> this little sterno stand rather than a you know large folding stove. I think this is a little bit more handier. Good English. So I have the small can of sterno in here. Let me light it so it gets going. I'm using the 45 minute can rather than the large two and a half hour can just for this test. Yeah, that's lit. One thing I discovered yesterday is I'm making this a whole lot harder than it had to be. When putting the cable into the cable connector, there's a white tab on the top of this and a white tab on the top of this connector, which you put white tab, white tab up, white tab up, and you've got it connected right. Slow learner, but I do learn. Okay, that's lit. I'm not sure that this is going to work. I don't think Sterno is very uh, hot. It takes longer for things to boil, but let's see what happens. So, put that on there. Okay, the flames are going good for Sterno flames. Ten seconds in, still no light. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, this would be really handy if something like Sterno worked to be able to have these things, you know, just sitting there waiting to be used for something like this. Matter of fact, I have a bunch of these I have to get back from friends and neighbors around here. When Sandy Hook touched us around here, trees fell over, power was going out everywhere. I was busy lending these out and the, uh, refillable cans that I use where I put out I should try that the uh, I save all these tins put perlite in them and then uh, with denatured alcohol or methanol in there works even better I should try that next but uh, couldn't find any of this stuff in the stores around here so I was lending a lot of crap <laughs> not crap a lot of stuff out to friends and neighbors Ah, the light did go on. See it there? There we go. The green light went on. So it is charging. Cool. I didn't take notice how long it was to get it to come up to charge, but... Neat. <clears throat> Let's see what kind of voltage we're getting out of that. Now one thing I found, uh, when this light first goes on, let it set for a little bit before you plug something into it. The voltage does seem to change a little bit, but this has been on steady now, so let's see what we got. Now about the same voltage. <coughs> Wait, it's still not getting steady. There we go. That's what it seems to set at. 4.92 volts. Coming out of this. It's not 5 volts, but like what's supposed to be coming out. But this is pretty darn close. 8 tenths of a volt short of 5. And see how it's steady? Well, sort of steady. I shouldn't have said that. But that's because there's a voltage regulator inside this little container. I should open it up sometime. Like they say, you don't really own something if you can't open it. So, not bad. I mean, if you can make, <clears throat> make this turn on just with Sterno, this would be a great little standby. 45 minutes per can, you should be able to 
charge something up. I guess that's what will be my next stuff to have to do. All right, so I think Eric's channel one looks like sterno does work versus the uh, tea light candles. Of course, I've had people said, ask me, why'd you stop at four? Why didn't you add five, six, seven? Don't know if I could get them underneath the pot. Okay, so if sterno would work, <clears throat> my refilled cans with uh, denatured alcohol or methanol, boy, I can't talk this morning, would definitely work. Now, there's another thing that I could put on here. This is an intensifier that I got from one of my old sterno kits. What it does is, if you could see the flames of sterno, they just kind of waver around and stuff. Putting something like this on the can... directs the flames and makes them more direct so that could go on there and it's still got the green light so it directs the flames to the bottom of the pot cool okay so I thank you for watching I thank Eric's channel one for his comment I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always, watch for my, I don't know if you can hear him in the background, Loudmouth Buddy Max. Bye now.